I'm Chicano. And this is paradise. Spiritual warfare. Your number one dumbass messed up again. I'm about to explain to you guys how it happened. So that you guys can be hyper vigilant, hyper aware. And so that you guys won't slip like I do. It's painful. It really is. You know why? Because when you're living in sin, the demons don't attack you. You're, you're doing exactly what they want you to do. They leave you alone. So you're at, you know, you're feeling good. Like, hey, nothing's bothering you. But the second you give your life to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the demons want you and they want you bad. And they know you. They know you better than you know yourself. They have ways to access you. One of, one of the ways they access you is through your memory. Another way they access you is they'll change your perspective when it comes to things. Because they know that if you act out, if you act out, in a way that you know you're not supposed to, then for them, that's an open door. That's an open door. Hopefully you guys can hear me with this beautiful water in the background. But if not, then you're enjoying it. Because I know I am. Look at that. It's an open door. So. Uh, let me tell you the story before so you guys could understand. My parents, they're immigrants. They are penny pinchers, right? They had to, they had to count every penny um, because they didn't have money. They were poor, immigrant poor, in case you guys don't know, it's even less, it's even more poor than American poor because you don't have, minimum wage doesn't apply. If you're an immigrant, um, minimum wage doesn't apply. So you could get paid less, which my father did. Um, and so, they penny pinch. So that's ingrained in me and my personality. It's ingrained in me. It's a penny pinch. Um, I could be a billionaire and I'll still penny pinch. I'll still watch my finances. I don't spend, I don't spend frivolously. So that's the premise. So our Range Rover, it broke down. So it's in the shop. It's been in the shop for a while. So we've been going to um, car dealerships. I mean, excuse me, to uh, car rentals. We've been renting cars. Now we've had bad experiences with them on three occasions and this time uh, this last occasion i had it i had it i just about had it because they nickel and dime you they nickel and dime you and what happened this time we went and with the same company we used do you spain so we went with them uh we've already uh rented two cars through them and so we go rent this the, the car for a third time a different car and so we go and they're like okay thirty dollars you have to pay thirty dollars because that's part of our uh fuel policy well they never told us that the last two times that you know uh we rented the cars why all of a sudden there's a fuel policy that we got to pay so they showed me where the fuel policy was and i'm like it doesn't apply we brought the car back full and they're like that's the fuel policy and that's one thing i noted notice in spain is that what it is it, it is what it is they're not apologetic like they are in the states to the customer the customer is not always right right here and so that that got me upset and my wife noticed and she's like just go outside i'll take care of it and so i go outside and i couldn't stop thinking about this and this is when when the demons started to creep in because it's oh shit just got me um felt good though oh it's coming i'm gonna go with it a little more this way this is when the demons started to creep in oh it was a little bit on the camera 
So, hold on. There you go. The demon started to creep in. It started uh, changing my perspective, clouding my perspective, right? I started to feel like I was taken advantage of. I started to feel like, why are they picking on me? You know? And coming from a family of immigrants, there were plenty of times in the United States where we were taken advantage of, where my parents were taken advantage of. And I seen that as a child. I seen it and it affected me and I became a very uh, introspective person. I began to analyze situations uh, based off those experiences. And so I would see how angry my dad would get when injustices would happen to him. And so that's a portal that the demon can access. He knows that. He knows that that's a weak spot for me. So I went back inside and I told him, this is an injustice. I can't believe you guys are doing this for $30. We've, we spent over $1,000 with you guys already. You know, started arguing with them or whatever. He's like, it is what it is. Here's a number to, uh, uh, to um, customer service, call them up. So I went out there and I called them again very uh, straightforward didn't want to help the customer out saying you got to pay it so i was pissed off we paid it and at this time my wife and i are headed back home in the car and i start to act out i start to act out i don't know if this is dirty let me clean it <sighs> sorry i start to act out and as i'm acting out I'm realizing, I'm understanding. The demon is creeping up on you. Calm down, calm down. And I couldn't calm down. I chose to not calm down. The demon was happy. So the whole way I start, I hit the wheel. I'm like, I can't believe they're taking advantage of us. This has been happening in Spain since we got here. They see that, you know, we're expats. They see that we're foreigners. You know, they keep abusing us, you know? So I started playing the victim role. And the demon is like, yes, yes, keep it. That's right, they're taking advantage of you. That's right. Yes, keep thinking that. How dare they? You gotta get payback. You gotta seek vengeance. So my brain starts thinking about ways to, to pay them back. I pull over, angry. And I start writing a review on Do You Spain? A vicious review, mind you, because that's the demon, that's my demon. That happens to me, you know? And I start doing it and I'm like, yeah, there's gotta be other ways to get back at these guys, you know? So I call back customer service and I play the part because I already knew their answer only to cuss them out. And then my wife, I could start seeing that she's starting to get anxious because she knows where this is headed. Once the demon enters me, it's like a spiral. It's like a, like a snowball effect. Once, once I, I give access to the demon. So, quiet the rest of the way quiet till, till we get home and so then we get home why is there no food i start yelling why is there no food where's the food i'm hungry who ate the last piece of bread you see what i'm saying you see you see what's happening the demons in full control at this time the demons are like yes i got you um this continues we go to the market i'm still upset my wife's trying to make small talk and you know i give her the cold shoulder and it continues so then i get home and one of one of my one of my biggest um let me get back over here i'm gonna sit down for a little bit one of my uh demons one of my worst demons is uh, that of violence. So I get home and I start watching videos on YouTube that the devil and the demon wants me to, right? And I'm fully conscious about what's going on. I'm like, I don't care. I'm pissed off. It's a good time to, um, to rage out on the internet. So I become a keyboard warrior, start watching, you know, fights between guys. I start watching political stuff that always angers me. Um, 
and I start letting them have it. A keyboard warrior, I start letting them have it. The demon is yes, yes, and I'm still enraged. You see, I'm enraged now, the whole day. Little things like that. And this is Quaresma, guys, this is Lent. So the demon was enhanced. He was feeling, he was telling God, you see, I got him away from you. I got him away from you. Even during the holy, the holy Quaresma, I got him away from you. He just went to receive ashes on his forehead. And look, I still took him away from you. And it felt like, it felt like shit. It felt like crap. It felt like crap. Really felt like crap so this time I started noticing what was going on because I started to look on telegram for worse videos and my wife came up and I told her let's do the rosary let's do the rosary that was God striking back putting the demon down so we did exactly that. We did the rosary. As I'm going in through the rosary, through the first part, I'm still feeling angry. The demon is still talking to me. The demon is still telling me, hey, you better put this down. It's not worth it, you're angry right now. Do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. Uh, the rosary will be there tomorrow. Don't worry about it. And I was about to tell my wife, hey, you know what? I don't think it's a good time to do it. We'll do it later, come back later. But then I prayed as I'm listening to the stupid ass demon telling me what to do. I prayed in my head as we were doing the rosary. I said, Father Lord, please, please allow me to finish this rosary. Something that simple. And guess what? I felt the spirit. I felt the spirit and we finished the rosary. We finished the rosary and I dedicated that rosary um, to my sleep. Because what happens with me is when the demons enter me, I don't sleep. And I, get, I go down this rabbit hole of uh, crazy videos, violent videos, uh, pornography, and um, I didn't want to go down that road. So I said, Father Lord, please, if you allow me to sleep tonight, the demon is conquered. The demon is beaten, it's slayed. And sure enough, I slept, <clears throat> I slept like a baby. I slept like a baby. And this whole morning, man, this whole morning, I felt the spirit so deeply. I was in tears for a big part of the morning, but it was like good tears because God, God listened to me. He knows that I am his warrior. He knows that I'm going through this a spiritual battle on a daily basis. And guys, we're human. We're human and we're gonna mess up. We're not perfect. You know what, if you're, a person out there that's messing up continually uh, becoming a slave to your demons reach out to God he will help you and understand this this is very important guys God has a special place in his heart for people like you and me a very special place he really wants us those that were sinners those that were sinners he wants to uh, bring on to the good side. He has a soft spot in our, in our heart, so he, he will respond to your call. God is calling, guys. And I really hope that you guys answer his call. Pray. Talk to God. He'll speak to you through your conscience. And when he does, you listen. You take heed. You do what he tells you. You unwaveringly, you don't waver. And if you mess up, you get down on your knees, you pray for forgiveness, you pray the rosary. If you're Catholic like me, you talk to Jesus, you read scripture, you beat your demon. It's so easy to beat your demon, it's so easy. It's simple, you just gotta call on the Lord. And please guys, if you know, if you know, what, what weak portal uh, 
the demon can enter through keep that portal closed don't allow it to come in don't be weak like me don't be weak like me but if you do slip god is always here for you hope you guys enjoyed this video i was speaking in a louder voice so hopefully that didn't like cloud the audio because of hey look at this because of this this beautiful paradise i'm in with waves crashing behind me look at this look at this this is jesus this is god i felt his presence today as i was walking down this mountain i came from up there as i was walking down this mountain i was calling on jesus and he came the water started to get more intense the water started splashing up birds started coming around in the air his presence was here guys get out in nature if you want to get closer to jesus get away from people go be with animals go be in nature because they will nature and animals will never cloud your perspective nature and animals are genuine they're true they're not manipulators like humans there's a reason why i i quote unquote left society and came right here because society and humans they will cloud your judgment society and humans they'll guide you down the wrong path here all i have is the influence of our lord and savior jesus christ and if god keeps blessing me I'm going to go to an even more secluded place. I have dreams of becoming a hermit. I sure enough do, you know, where I can just me and, and God. That's all I need. That's all I need in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys are seeing God work in me through YouTube. So if he can help a piece of shit like me, he could for sure help you. See God, guys. God first lifestyle. Now and forever. Let's go.